No matter what you're doing in the Elder Scrolls Online, having a lot of gold on the hip can make life a whole lot easier. You get much faster access to all the gold materials, enchantments, and unbound gear sets that you want, and you can kit yourself out with some of the most awesome style pages and pets available, all with in-game gold from the guild stores. So let's check out how to get rich fast with the three best methods. Method number one is daily crafting writs. This is absolutely the best way to make money in the Elder Scrolls Online and requires some upfront time investment. But once you've got it set up, you will earn tons really, really easily. Here's how. Your daily crafting writs scale based on the level and perks you have in each respective skill line. If you work on maximizing these, then the requirements and rewards of the daily writs will increase in value, giving you the chance to gain the incredibly sought after gold materials, such as tempering alloys and rosins. These sell incredibly well, not only in terms of their value, but in terms of time as well. They really fly off the shelves quickly. So, if you invest the time into leveling all of your characters up in these crafting skill lines and doing their daily crafting writs, you'll be absolutely rolling in gold materials. Not only can you use these yourself to save money, which helps in itself, but you can sell on anything that you don't need for big bucks really easily. That's not all though, these daily crafting writs don't only have the chance of dropping gold materials, they can also drop surveys for their respective material type. You can find and harvest these materials for buckets of resources that you can either sell on in their raw form for a really nice additional profit or refine yourself for yet more chances at valuable gold materials. There's yet another massive benefit to these daily crafting writs, they really are so incredibly efficient for making gold. That benefit is the Master Writs, yet another item that you have a chance to get as a reward. These Master Writs involve completing and crafting a certain specific item from a set and then delivering it to the Master Writ Merchant in return for vouchers. Those Writ Vouchers can be exchanged for a variety of goods from the Merchant which you can then sell on for gold. Some of these are very valuable and sought after, however if you don't have that many style pages or spare resources, you can sell the Master Writ itself on for a tidy profit on guild stores. Method number two is PvP and I've got a very specific approach here. If you're good at PvP or even if you just know how to follow groups around operating siege, you'll start accumulating a ton of AP, which is the currency only available from PvP. Pro tip, battlegrounds are surprisingly lucrative for this. You take all of that AP and you find the general goods merchant who takes it in exchange for a variety of items. The one that we're looking for here is the Dawn Prisms, a trait item which can be used to apply the triune quality to a ring or necklace. Now you can sell those Dawn Prisms on directly for a decent profit, however, if you want to make more gold per item and sell them much faster, you should instead go and craft as many level 1 iron rings and necklaces using the Dawn Prisms to make them triune, and then list these on the guild stores. You might think that these won't sell so well, but they're actually selling at a really nice steady pace for a really nice amount of gold each. The reason for this is that other people need these for research so that they can learn the triune trait and craft the item themselves or round out their crafting characters. Players will always be making crafters and as long as they are, you can profit from it. And finally we have method number three, targeted farming. This is most appropriate during events where there are difficult to get items that are valuable to other players. The most expensive ones are usually cosmetics that are rare or tough to get. For example, during the Imperial City event, the Simulacrum of Molag Bal in the center of the sewers has an increased chance to drop the rune boxes for the Brimstone Scamp and Soul Shriven skin. Both of these can sell for a lot, especially the skin, so being able to farm for this, of course, is very profitable. The same goes for collectible pieces towards pets and mounts from other events, as well as certain items that can be obtained from dungeons. The style page for the Baron Zaudrus mask has to be one of the most expensive things ever to cross the open market in the Elder Scrolls Online, not only for its awesome design, but also for how difficult it is to obtain. Following that old ethic of not doing something for free if you're good at it, developing a knowledge of what sells best and then farming for those items in game content that you're good at can lead to some incredibly profitable finds. The same can be said for thieving if you're willing to pick pockets and pilfer sock drawers, but this requires further investment in your CP in the Thieves Guild and Ledger Domain skill lines in order to be optimal. There are a lot of extra honorable mentions that can help boost your gold production as well. Craglaw Material Farming nets lots of raw materials to sell on for a profit with a chance of huge boosts from the rare potent Nerncrux drops. Deconstructing accumulated gear for lower grade materials and selling them in bulk can help as well. But if you really wanted to make the most of it, follow the three main methods above and you'll be rolling in gold in no time. If you want more tips on how to get the very most out of your experience in the Elder Scrolls Online, then don't forget to hit those like and subscribe buttons. Take care and as always, have fun.